Welcome back everybody. Now today I've got what's supposedly a next generation candle and that is this. The spiral lights candle. So this is how it's set up. You have one wick here that goes around the edges. As this burns around the edges the wax goes in the center and forms a second candle. The top part lasts a couple hours. The bottom part lasts a couple dozen hours. I unboxed it yesterday and here's how that went. Let's take a look at the spiral light candle. I paid 20 bucks plus $10 shipping so a total of $30 for one medium sized candle. It better be an amazing candle for 30 bucks. Here we go. This is the cinnamon bark and clove scent. It looks like a standard candle until you turn it over and then inside it definitely does not look like a standard candle. Now I had a few requests for this one but I didn't find it on Amazon so I actually had to order these direct. They say they've reinvented the candle. It includes a cotton spiral wick right here. As the wax melts, it actually forms a second candle inside. Now they have three sizes, small, medium, and large. The spiral part of the candle will last one, two, or three hours, depending on what size you get. And the second portion of the candle will last 20, 30, or 40 hours, depending on what size you get. They say it's a reinvention of the traditional candle. They say the candles are non-toxic and clean burning. It is interesting how that wick just goes in a circle there, and then you have this large wick in the bottom. Got some basic warnings in the bottom here. They also say don't burn more than four hours, which is kind of interesting as well. I mean, it does smell very nice. I mean, overall, it seems like a well-built and well-designed candle, but is it worth 30 bucks? Now it's time to find out. I saw an ad for this on Facebook. That's where I first heard about it. I went back and was reading the comments and some people were saying that it doesn't last as long as they expected. Some people said it does. Someone said, make sure you take the paper off the bottom, which there's no real instructions to say that, but let me see if I can do that. I guess we probably should do that. I've just got on a plain uh, white plate here. So I, I think now we're ready to light it and see what happens. All right, we are off. Let's, uh, let's see what happens now. All right, so the circular portion is supposed to burn for about two hours. All right, stopwatch is going. We're gonna keep an eye on this and see how long it takes. So it's already making a little bit of progress. You can see wax is migrating down towards the center already. So uh, something's already happening. It's only been one minute. So one minute in, we've already have some action happening here. All right, so I'm gonna watch this for the next, I guess, couple hours and see what happens. All right, we're almost done with our first rotation around the, the edges and it kind of has a nice pattern there. Looking inside, you can see wax accumulated down there. So, so far it's working. We'll see how long the, the final time is, but so far, so good. Now we're a little bit over an hour. Let's take a quick look and see what we got here. We, we've definitely made some progress. It's, it's gone quite a ways down. You can see the wax is collecting in the bottom. We have our wood wick right there. So uh, everything's operating as uh, hoped and expected. So that's a good thing. So I guess I'll keep going. I'm gonna, it's supposed to last two hours. It looks like we're kind of right on track. So I'll check back a little bit and let you know how it's held up. All right, 147, it just went out. So this is what we're left with. Looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna let it cool off overnight because they say you're not supposed to use it more than four hours at a time. So it's just been going for almost two hours. So tomorrow we'll start fresh and we'll do it in four hour chunks and we'll see how it turns out. But this is, uh, this is what we got right now. So far so good. And the smell by the way is pretty good. I, I, I quite like the, the smell of it. It's, it's pleasant, it's not too strong. But we'll get to that tomorrow when we start the longer segment of this candle, which this supposedly is gonna last 30 hours. The first part lasted two, this is supposed to last 30. We'll find out starting tomorrow. All right, now that this candle is cooled off, let's light the bottom portion, which is supposed to last 30 hours and see how long it actually lasts. One thing I noticed is we have a much bigger wick here than on the top section. So instead of this puny little arc light, a big wick needs a big flame. Let's do it. And well, we're off, we are off. Stopwatch is going. All right, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this. They say not to let it burn for more than four hours at a time, so we'll go four hours and check on it then and see how it looks. And I think it went out. Did it actually go out? Wow. Let's try the smaller one. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully it stays lit this time. All right, I think this, uh, this one's gonna hold. The first one, for some reason, just snuffed out. This one looks like it's uh, doing a little better. I think. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. Hopefully it stays lit this time. They say not to let it burn more than four hours at a time, so after four hours, we'll check and see how it's looking. All right, I'm a little over two hours now, and it seems like it's been mostly smoldering the entire time. I barely even see a flame. Once in a while, it'll kind of flare up, but 
For the most part, it's kind of been very minimal. Now I have to admit, I don't have much experience with wood wicks. In fact, I have no experience with them whatsoever. This is my first time. So I reached out to the company and they said this is normal. So I'm just gonna kind of go with it and see what happens. What they didn't tell me is how to prevent tunneling, which it looks like this is doing. I don't know how it can't tunnel when the sides are raised like that, so I'm just gonna let it go. I'll let it go to the four hour mark, I'll let it cool, and then we'll start all over again. So I'm kind of underwhelmed, but maybe there's, this is just an initial phase and it'll get better, I'm hoping. So I'll check back at the four hour mark and we'll see what happens then. All right, so I've let it cool off now for a couple hours, so now I'm gonna light over again. All right, so there it is. Now we burned three hours so far, so we should have about 27 hours left. Uh, looks, the flame looks nice right now. We'll see what happens as this wax melts. If anything interesting happens, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll check with you after 27 hours of burn time. All right, I think we're finally at the end of this candle's life now. Let's take a closer look. Now, the, the, obviously the first thing to note is that this is a bad example of tunneling. It tunnel all the way down to the bottom. How could it not when the, when the sides are raised so much like that? They did not account for this in any instructions or the website or anything. I don't know how to prevent that unless you completely have to uh, alter the candle after the first one's burned. It is still burning. We're right at the 30 hour mark, just about. They say not to burn it beyond a half an inch from the bottom and uh, we're probably about a half inch from the bottom. So this is pretty much on his last leg here. As far as pros and cons go, the pros are that it's a nice scent. I do like that. The two candle design did work. The first one lasted about as long as they said, roughly two hours. The bottom part also lasts as long as they've said, about 30 hours. But that's where my pros kind of end and my cons begin right here. But to me, the biggest con is the price. 20 bucks plus 10 shipping, 30 bucks for one candle, that's kind of steep. The other issue I had was a tunneling issue. I don't know how you can prevent that when the edges for candle number two were already raised like that. There were no instructions on the website or on the candle itself how to prevent that so I just let it go and that's what I got. I'm sure there's some candle enthusiasts out there that could probably get better results than I did but as a lay person to me the results were very underwhelming. But that's all I've got. If you've tried this candle or something like it tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.